Hey, how's it going everyone? So it's been a couple weeks since I uploaded anything, but a lot has happened in that time. So I turned 20, which is kind of weird, a little bit weird to grasp. Uh, so it took a couple days off for that. Uh, went up north in the state to uh, Salt Lake City area to see one of my uh, lifetime long best friends up there and uh, ended up helping him do a uh, muffler delete on his V6 Mustang, which was actually pretty fun to do. So here's how that turned out. cut the muffler off and we just got to get like the trajectory of the exhaust pipe right coming out the back of the bumper rev it a little bit I gotta say, not too bad for a couple AutoZone parts and like an hour of time putting it all together. It sounds pretty good for what it is, for being a V6. It's got some nice tone and some nice burbles and cracks and all the good stuff that makes, you know, engines sound good. So after getting home, got a few things done on the S10s. I have a few things to show you guys. First of all, got new wheels. Well, sort of. I put the MV wheels that I talked about in the last couple, couple videos ago. Put those on the truck to test them out. I want to see what you guys think of them before I go and, you know, either redo the ones that are on it because they have like curb rash and stuff on them. They're several years old and uh, have definitely been used. But I have to make the choice to either clean those ones up or just purchase new ones. And I'd have to buy those ones off my dad anyways. And it might almost be like more might almost make more financial sense to just buy new ones. Um, we shall see, but I don't, I'm not sure how I feel about them, so I definitely want to know what you guys think of them. So what I'm thinking to do is paint them a uh, semi-gloss black. Uh, I think it will complement the truck's final color. Not sure how it's going to look with whatever colors it's going to have for a while, whether it's, you know, mostly white from the parts from the Jimmy or the two-tone that it has right now. You know, we'll see, we'll see. We got parts coming in for the Blazer as well. Lots of parts for that coming in. That's gonna get started pretty soon. And I know it's been a like a really long process on my truck getting it done over all this time. You know, I've been saying it's gonna be done for a long time now and uh, it's just, it seems like things are finally starting to uh, smooth out and work for me. So uh, I have most of the parts that I need to finish my truck to get it running and everything like that on a list ready to be ordered and they will be ordered ASAP. So all the parts left that I need for my truck will be coming. All right, let's check out the S10. And there it is. It's got a cowl hood now. Nah, just kidding, this hood's for the blazer. Um, it's kind of crazy, it's only been here on here like a week and it's already faded and gross. Whatever coating they put on that sucks. You gotta paint it right away. Anyways, here's the MB wheels though. Nice. I'm also gonna be running 275s on all four corners if we can get enough clearance in the wheel wells and crap for it and also yes this ho this hood is bent we probably have to send this back to the people that my dad bought it from for his truck with that said though i want to show you guys what these wheels look like Got a lot of stuff going on in the interior as well. I have both uh, blazer seats in, just mocked up, of course. And I've got my sub situated where I want it. Fits perfectly right in the middle. Um, we'll see how the fitment is with the cipher seats. But with the blazer seats, it's like perfect, right where I want it. So 
Go ahead and get in here. But yeah, I'm pretty stoked about having that there. If you do not know how to wire up a sub and an amp, I will be making a video on that uh, when it comes down to, or when it comes time to do that. Um, those are just a bunch of extra interior parts. So now what I'm trying to figure out is what type of console I'm gonna build for this thing. I need it to be, I mean, obviously it needs to be pretty shallow back here uh, in between the seats and also uh, the sub. I would like if it ended before the sub, so the sub has somewhere to flex and push air, you know? Like a fifth generation Camaro console might look pretty cool in here because it's really sleek and slim and uh, still has two cup holders. I definitely want to keep cup holders. I need somewhere to put the uh, switches for my electric windows in the console and uh, obviously gotta have somewhere to shift. Um, my gauge is mocked up, which I'm super stoked about. Uh, they're definitely, it seems like it's gonna work. The main issue with the gauges right now is the tack. And I'll show you guys why. So on these regular gauges, you can see uh, they're mounted with this bracket. There are studs on the gauges and then they supply a couple nuts that you tighten it down with and it just like clamps it down to uh, the surface. But my tack has like a dash mount on it. Like when I first bought it, I was gonna put it up here on my uh, 1990, on my 90 S10. The 84, the dash kind of like swoops down right here, so I can't really put the tack up there. And I don't want to put the tack up there because it has the uh, a cutout that I can use for it that's pretty much perfect. So how we're going to make this work is there's actually a good amount of real estate behind behind the panel, the gauge panel. Um, so basically, somehow the, the goal is to somehow adhere it in the correct location. Whether I screw it in or use double stick tape or whatever, it should be able to just rest on uh, in the back here and be able to be seen through the gauge panel. So this is basically what the gauges will look like. That's what the tack will look like. Barely pokes through, looks perfect pretty much, matches up with the edge. So hopefully I can make that work. And then when I get a speedometer, I'll just get one that clamps in like this uh, for that side. I've got the whole interior uh, build planned out for this thing. You know, I'm gonna get new carpet. I'm gonna sound dead in the entire interior. Probably gonna put the dome light that I had in the 90 up here, uh, retrofit it somehow. I haven't looked at it, but I'll get that done as well. I'm I'm sweating heavy right now. It's like 8 p.m. and it's 100 degrees outside in St. George, and I'm in the enclosed S10 because it's I don't like filming when the neighbors are out. I'm gonna be fixing all the cracks in, across the dash. Um, and fixing up the whole entire dash. I think it's gonna look freaking good. I have I have something I'm gonna do with this. It's not gonna be paint. Um, a lot of you guys have probably heard of it, but I'll get to that when I get to that in a video. Cow hood looks pretty sick through the windshield. There's my sick crack in the windshield. One of you guys asked in my recent video if this is a stick truck. And uh, yes, it has three pedals and I have a uh, T56 for it, put behind the small block. Man, I wish it was lowered so we could actually get a feel of what it's gonna look like. Maybe I'll Photoshop that real quick. All right, I think that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the MB wheels. Actually, after editing the video and putting that whole cinematic thing together, I actually am kind of digging how it looks. And uh, actually, especially after doing the Photoshop, I'm pretty, I'm digging the, the MB wheels. That's it, I'm done with this. Now, but since I haven't uploaded a video in quite a fat minute, I'm going to do a whole bunch of features right now and try to go through pretty much every single one that has been sent to me on Instagram that I haven't covered yet. Because I do want to stay up to date with those and get all of your guys' vehicles featured into a video. Because why not? Nah, just kidding, kind of want that back. All right, so start off with this one. This is a 85 2.8 S10. Thanks for sending that in. Uh, right here's the next feature. It says it's lowered, has wide tires, and the original four cylinder, because the LS one that was in the truck blew up. So, all right, thanks for sending that in. All right, here's the next feature. It's an 03 S10 with a 350 in it. Uh, pretty cool that it's a frame off build. Um, I think I'm gonna be doing that with mine as well. I might take the cab off and do the whole frame. All right, here's the next one, kind of going to a different world with it being lifted and stuff, but it's a 92 Sonoma with an iron duke and two and a half inch body lift and 29 inch tires. But a very clean truck, so thank you for sending that in. Here's the next one, it's a super clean blazer uh, from Patrick Benjamin, who I've talked to a lot before. And I'm pretty sure he wants to do a VA swap in uh, that thing too, because we talked about headers a little bit. Um, but yeah, thanks for sending that in, Brent. 
And actually, I think that about wraps it up for uh, all the features that have been sent in to me. Make sure to go follow these guys if you like what you're seeing on here. Make sure to go follow me on Instagram at Roman Mizey. If you want to have a chance to have your vehicle featured in, at the end of a video, DM me a uh, picture of your vehicle with a uh, short list on what you're doing to it or what's done to it and it'll, it might make it into a video. So for now though guys, I think that's gonna be it for this video. So thank you again so much for watching. Took kind of a quick break there, but I'm back and I want to be back and I want to be making tons of content. I need it. I need my truck to be done, dang it. But yeah, thanks again guys so much. Let me know what you think in the comments of the MB wheels or just of the video, you know? Uh, make sure to leave a like if you liked the video. Um, let me know how I can improve my videos or you know, whatever totally open to feedback and I love to hear what you guys have to say. Make sure to subscribe if you want to keep up to date with content on my builds and uh, I think that's pretty much it. See you guys next time. Take it easy.